Hello students, this is Pranit. In this session, I am going to explain rethrowing exception or nested try catch. This is a exceptional handling part 3 video. Before watching this video, please watch part 1 video so that you can understand better. Exception means uh, an error occurred during execution of a program. Already we have discussed. Okay. So, to handle these exceptions, uh, we have uh, three keywords try, throw, and catch. Already we know try is used to generate exceptions, and throw is used to throw an exception, and catch is used to catch the exception. So, try syntax is a try pair of braces, and catch syntax is a catch pair of braces. Catch uh, takes one parameter. Parameter contains uh, data type space uh, variable and uh, you can write the uh, throw keyword uh, either in try block or in uh, catch block You can write throw keyword in try block either in catch block. Okay, in mo uh, mostly we will use in uh, try block only as it is a rethrowing exception We have used again in catch block also Okay If you see uh, if you see this syntax uh, here we are throwing an exception from try block to catch block. Okay, again uh, we are rethrowing the exception from catch block uh, to outer catch block, inner catch block to outer catch block. Okay, so here from here we are throwing the exception from try block to catch block. Again uh, we are throwing a uh, exception from this inner catch block to outer catch block so this is called rethrowing this is called rethrowing exception okay so that's why it is called rethrowing re means again repeating okay so here we are throwing two times first one here in try from try block to this catch block and in the second time from catch block to the another catch block so we are throwing twice so that's why it is called rethrowing exception then why it is called nested try see here one try this try is written inside of uh, another try this is inner try this is inner try this is outer try this try is written inside of another try. So that's why it is called as nested try. Okay. So this is inner try and this is inner catch, inner catch block. This is outer try and this is outer catch block. This is outer catch block. Okay. And this is inner catch block. Okay. So every try must contain one catch block compulsory. This is the rule. For this outer try, this is the outer catch block. For this inner try, this is the inner catch block. What is the rule? Every try must contain one catch block compulsory. So here we have example int space uh, a. Enter value for a. I am accepting the value for a from the user. So take c in uh, uh, operator a. So here uh, try inside try block I am writing another try okay so that's why it is called as nested try so I am throwing a and this catch will uh, this catch block will catch the exception from try block okay and uh, this catch block is again throwing uh, again throwing uh, exception from this catch block to the this catch block okay this try block uh, this try block is throwing exception from try block to the catch block and this catch block is again rethrowing exception from inner catch block to the outer catch block okay so this is the inner try and inner catch area inner try block and inner catch okay and uh, this is outer try this is outer try and this is outer catch outer try block and 
outer try catch outer catch okay so here we are throwing how many times we are throwing first time and this is the second time rethrowing again we are rethrowing a exception okay so this is called uh, rethrowing exception or uh, or nested try okay so i'll execute the program observe very clearly compile and run enter value for a i'm giving as 5 okay exception in inner try catch block and x is equal to 5 exception in outer try catch block and n is equal to 5 okay if you see the program here The exception thrown from try block is received by this catch block. The variable present in the catch block, the variable, see here, the variable present in the catch block stores the thrown value. Okay. Again, here I am rethrowing. Okay. Here again I am rethrowing. So the variable present. In this outer catch block, what is the variable n? The variable present in the outer catch block will receive and stores the value thrown from inner catch block. Okay. So, what I gave here? I gave a as 5. Okay. So, 5 is thrown from this try block to this catch block. So, x have facility to store this thrown value. And here also, what is the x now? x is 5. So, again I am throwing a 5 from this inner catch block to this outer catch block. Here, n can store this uh, exception. That is value thrown from inner catch block. Okay. So, what I am printing here? I am printing x. See here, by using insertion operator, we can print the exception also. We can print the value also. Okay. What I am printing? I am printing x. But uh, what you have thrown here, you have thrown A. But uh, this thrown value, this catch block variable can catch, this catch block variable can catch and store the value which is thrown. Okay. So, see here, what I am printing here, I am printing N. What you have thrown, you have thrown X. Okay. But uh, this catch block variable have facility to store the thrown value. So, here I am printing X. I am printing n but I gave input for a but we got output as uh, x is equal to 5 n is equal to 5 ok so both statements are executed c out exception in a try block uh, and x is equal to and uh, in this c out exception in outer try block and uh, n is equal to ok so this is a concept of uh, inner uh, this is the concept of rethrowing exception or nested try catch. Okay. Here uh, you need to remember few points. Uh, what are those points? Means uh, to see here the statements written between throw and catch won't get executed. The statements written between throw and catch. See here uh, the same example I have taken. Here I am writing uh, one C out. Uh, C out uh, I am uh, enjoying enjoying Corona holidays semicolon sorry place the semicolon now compile it compile and run enter value for a 7 exception in inner and exception outer try block so here this is skipping so what is our rule our rule is uh, the statements written between throw and catch won't get executed so this statement this statement is in between throw and catch these kind of statements won't get executed that is the point you need to remember and second point the data type should be same the data type should be same. See here, uh, 
what i am throwing here i am throwing a character but is but the catch parameter data type is integer so this is uh, not possible okay if you compile and run you will get a terminated exception stopped okay you will get error okay you won't get a uh, output clear so it must be a character why because what you are throwing you are throwing a character and the data type in the catch block must contain same uh, equivalent data type okay character data type okay that is the point you need to remember and uh, third point turbo c3 does not support uh, exception handling turbo c3 c4 and above version is accepted or use uh, dev c++ software okay so this is a dev c++ software turbo below turbo c3 softwares are not supported for exceptional handling okay and coming to the fourth point uh, every try block must contain one catch block see here this try block uh, this try block uh, is having a catch block and this try block this try block this is outer try block and this is having a this catch block okay so for outer try block uh, we are having a outer catch block okay for inner try block uh, we are having inner catch so every try block must contain one catch block compulsory okay so these are the points you need to remember oh this is all about uh, rethrowing exception or uh, nested try okay so before uh, completing this session if you have any doubts uh, please watch again still you have doubts please comment i'll make it clear and uh, please like share my video and subscribe to my channel thanks thanks for watching